Millions of machinists all over the world have the same dream. If they go into work, they sit and stand in front of CNC machines. They analyze all day. They analyze the company. They analyze the owner. They analyze the leadership. They analyze the parts. They look at everything and they dream the dream. If I could only have a CNC machine of my own, I would change not only my life, but I'd change my family's life. I would bring opportunities to my children that otherwise they would never see. They could never experience. Because having a CNC machine would greatly increase the amount of money that I could make for myself and for my family. And that is completely true. That is a true statement. This happens. Only a CNC machine will change your life if you possess the qualities that I'm about to talk to you about. You see, owning a CNC machine can be the biggest dream come true. It can be the biggest blessing on your family, but it can be the biggest nightmare also. We're talking about repossession. Like when you think about repossession and you think about having a car and you have a job and then you can't pay for the car because you lost your job, all of a sudden you have a hardship, right? Now, I jumped to cars because I'm going to make a point. You have a problem, okay? One, your car got repossessed and you need to get to work. You have to solve that problem. Two, you have a family and it sucks because you just ruined your credit. Now, all of these problems are real problems, but they're not going to devastate your family. They're not going to devastate you to the core. You might think it in comparison. Let me tell you about CNC machining. If you own a CNC machine, it's not only the CNC machine, it's the shop. You're paying for the machine, you're paying for the shop. You're paying for so many different variables. Now, you guys have heard me talk about variables in the past and I talk about machining crazy parts. I talk about the spindle, I talk about the work holding, I talk about the tooling and the talent and putting it all together, the coolant, all of it, to actually thrive in CNC machining. So you can actually deliver perfect parts to your customers solving their problems. Now, that is when you hear me talk about variables, but I'm gonna talk about variables in a different way now. Now, owning a machine shop comes with its own set of variables and each one costs money. So you have the machine, you have the tools, you have the work holding, you have the coolant, you have the compressor, you have the building space, the rent or lease, you have the time committed to actually going out and finding work. All of it combines and equals out into a monster amount of money. Now that we're talking about the money part of it, it's okay because we have a plan. We're gonna bring in work and we're gonna bring in a lot of work. And the amount of work that we bring in and actually ship is gonna be worth more money than what the variables that I just discussed were. Therefore, you have a profit. Now, as you move forward and you bring in the work, and then you pay the bills, everything is grand. It's when you fail to bring in the work that everything stops. When you cannot bring in the work consistently, that entire shop will turn into the biggest weight that you can comprehend and it will sink you. It will sink your family and it'll take everything that you own. And that's why you have to understand if you're gonna take this risk, if you're gonna step out hard and go after this trade. You gotta be willing to put the work in and put the hours in and dedicate your entire life to it to get it off the ground. Now let's talk about the most important aspect of having a CNC machine shop. The most important thing that you need to be able to do is get that work. That means that you have to have the gift of gab. That means that you have to be an amazing storyteller. That means that not only are you an amazing machinist, but you can tell the story of that process and how you make those parts, how you solve those problems, how you take those parts into inspection and get them dialed, how you package those parts and box them up and ship them to the customers on time, and how you're gonna not only ship those parts to the customers, but you're gonna solve their problems nonstop in a consistent manner. That you are the shop for the job. Now, getting work is easy keeping the work is hard and as i learned back in 2008 being diversified 
is one of the most important aspects to having a solid foundation. You don't want just one big customer. You want many customers across different industries. So what do you do? You go out there and you sell them. You knock on doors. You meet the right people. You go after it. You know, a lot of you guys know that I was in the aerospace industry. And when I started making rocket parts and I read that article about Elon Musk, I made a decision and I said, hey, I want to work for this guy. He's going to change the world. I want to make parts that go to space. And I went after it. But guess what? I didn't actually know anybody at the company. So I made calls. I talked to the ladies in the office. I told them my story. I told them I sent pictures of parts. I sent them chocolates. I made friends with them and sent letter after letter after letter. For, for six months, I consistently put in the time to get that work. And one day, boom, I opened my email and it was part after part after part, quote after quote after quote. And that was the start of my journey in aerospace. Now that was a long time ago. And today is a different day. But the truth is you have to put in the same amount of work to secure those customers. And then once you get the work, that's when the relationship starts because you have to deliver perfect parts in a consistent manner and solve those problems over the long term to keep those customers. When I look at customers, what I know now is much different than what I knew back in the day. And that's what I want to share with you guys. The customers, they just don't want problems. They want perfect parts, beautiful finishes on time, and they're willing to pay for it if you're the right vendor that has the gift the gap and that has beautiful parts and you can sell it. Now looking at the entire industry and looking at how things have evolved on social media, I've worked with my team for years now to solve your problems. And we are excited because today we have a free platform called CNC Expert. Now, some people are like, well, it's just for certifications. Others are, hey, it's to get hired. Others are, hey, that's how you hire employees. And others are, hey, that's how you actually find vendors or customers. And guess what? It is all of the above and it's absolutely free. So I spent six months to get through the door, but today it's much easier. Now, let me give you a few hints on how this works. CNC Expert is an amazing platform. It is an artist portfolio of your workmanship. You'll be judged based on what you can actually make efficiently, not by just a piece of paper. But when you create your free portfolio, you can still put your Mastercam search, your SolidWorks search. You can still put your resume. You can put all your different links for your social media. But the heart of CNC Expert, beyond the certifications, is the ability to find vendors, the ability to find workers. And this happens through the ability to search work and search profiles. Now, when you create a profile, you can actually create projects and the project will be a specific part. And within that project, you can actually put pictures and videos and documentations. You can talk about the problems that you solve to cut and you can put it like, titanium or Inconel or aerospace like you can list the problems that you solved to make that you can categorize it by material is was it Inconel titanium was it stainless you can categorize it by industry was it aerospace was it energy automotive you can categorize it and people can search based on that just like the process of creating a part your profile is a work of art it represents your workmanship. So how you put your projects, how you take your pictures, how you put your documentation, how you do all of it matters. Now, here's one of the coolest things about CNC Expert. It was designed to share beautifully, meaning you can go into a project, you can go into your profile, you can hit the link, you can share the link on LinkedIn, or you can share it on Facebook, or you can text it or email it, and it loads beautifully. And the link that loads not only is beautiful, but anybody can simply click in it and instantly they're in your art gallery of your workmanship. Instantly, they're in another world. They're submerged into your art gallery of your workmanship, where they can actually look through your projects. They can actually look at your resume. They can look at everything. And they can simply make a decision for free 
to contact you, to send you an NDA, to ask you to do work for them, or simply to offer you a job. It is all free. Now, how does this get you work? One way is that the entire site as it builds is getting marketed to private companies that this is where they can find vendors from this gallery of vendors. And it's being marketed that companies can actually go in to find employees. Now, if you actually think about it, you have certifications, boom. You have people wanting to get hired. You got people wanting to just show off their work. You have people looking for customers. You have people hiring. You have vendors, all of it wrapped in one marketplace, which is brilliant because everyone can talk to each other for free. One of the reasons early on that we created this site was for companies like SpaceX, was for companies like Blue Origin and companies all over the world. Because these exact companies called me on my cell phone and said, Titan, we need employees. How do we hire the people that have gone through your academy? And I said, I don't actually know them personally, but I'm creating a platform that you can simply go in judge them based on their workmanship and contact them if you want to offer them a job. And not only that, but you can go in and you can search companies and look at titanium parts and inconel parts and medical parts. And you can look through the galleries and you can select the workmanship that best fits what you're looking for. And you can go by zip code or state or country and you can select machine shops that you can go straight to to offer them work. And you can simply contact them to ask them to sign an NDA and offer them work. Boom. Now, there is so much more to talk about, but the video is already going long. So I'm going to actually leave you with this. Here is a tip to get work for your machine shop. Investigate your area. Create a game plan of the type of work that you want. Talk to the tooling guys. Talk to everyone. Ask them what companies are actually giving out work. For companies within this region, maybe it's 100 miles, maybe it's 500 miles, find companies that give out work. Then go into LinkedIn and find those companies and look up people and put purchasing and buyer. And then you'll see everybody with that title of a buyer or a purchaser actually line up right there in that search bar. Simply friend every single one of them. If you want to work for SpaceX, you want to work for Tesla, you want to work for Blue Origin, you want to work for whoever you want to work for, search purchasing and search buyer for those companies and friend every single one of them. And then you take CNC Expert and you build on it and you build on it and you share it on your LinkedIn profile and you start building that reputation, beautiful parts, beautiful documentation, solving problem after problem after problem and showing it in a way where they don't have to go search for it, but instead it's right on CNC Expert in an art gallery that's easy to see, that's high class, that's upper level and boom. These guys are going to start loving your work. They're going to start seeing the problems you're solving and they will start contacting you. Oh, so good. Make your free CNC expert profile. It is free and it's here for you. All right. So I'm going to actually end this video right now, but in a future video, I'll give you more ways to actually find work for your shop so you can consistently feed that machine so you can keep it running consistently. As always, if you love the video, if you love the education, if you love everything about what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put your comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Boom. I will see you on cncexpert.com. Let's go. Boom.